Amen. Oh, it's really good though, family tree. Let me know that you're up in the building with me by simply hitting off the like, like, like button. And I'm going to repeat that again because I know a few of you guys might just be flooding in right about now. So if you've seen your notification button, if you've seen the notification going off, right? And if you haven't seen the notification button, please go and click onto the bell icon so you can be notified every single time we go live, all right? And of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. But everybody who's tuned in right now with me, can you please hit up the like button, hit up the like button, all right? And just drop me a few comments to let me know that you're locked in and ready to go. Shouts out to Ultra Funky, Hassan Yilmaz, and Yogi B. They're up in the building with Chris Raymond is, is here as well. Dame Dash. Oh, man. Got a wedding cake in the spliff ready for this. Yeah, buddy. Um, evening, Callum. Was good lemon fresh. All right, Shaka G's up in here as well. Yeah. So um, let me get into this real quickly. So I'm not going to be spending a long time on here. What I'm going to do is just kind of line up a show for you guys. So in that being said, I want to talk about um, white pride and what or white shame. Okay. Like, should white people, I'm going to do the quote unquote, right? You know, because you already know what I think about the terminology white people, right? I don't agree with it. But should, you know, quote unquote, English people, um, you know, people in the UK and British people in general be ashamed of the past, of the colonialist past, of the um, imperialist pa um, past? Should they be shamed of their heroes? Okay. Should they be shamed for their heroes or feel shame for their heroes okay so if you're an englishman should you feel shame over winston churchill okay there is a debate that took place today or conversation should i say that took place today with um on piers morgan i believe it's called the morning show i think it, uh good morning good morning britain present uh, yeah good morning okay um and there was a big, there was a large dialogue. It was a very large dialogue with um, Piers Morgan and, of course, Professor Kehinde Andrews. Um, I think he's a professor. Yeah, he's a professor of black studies in Birmingham. So, like, mad, mad props to him. Okay, it's like, phew, god damn. Okay, he was dropping some bombs, right? And Piers Morgan was, um, you know, shooting. He was, he, he had the machine gun just going, okay. So I want to delve into this. I really want to delve into this. So um, should, you know, quote unquote, white people have pride in their national heroes? Okay. Should you have pride in your national heroes, even though they may be racists, even though they may have owned slaves, even though they may be the, um, how can I put it? The one responsible for, the murder or the starvation of over 3 million people in India, okay? Should you celebrate, should we, okay, as British folks, celebrate Winston Churchill? Should that happen, okay? Should it happen? Or, or should we simply say we should have no pride in a person as such? because they held racist views or they were responsible for a lot of people's deaths. It's a tricky one, right? It's a tricky one. All right. It's a real, real tricky one. Okay. So I want to get your um, opinions in and I want to do a show on this. I want to get your opinions in and I want to do a show on this. All right. Um, it's real tricky. I, let me feel, I, you know, let me be controversial, yeah, and say shouts out to Winston Churchill, right? <laughs> let me be controversial because that's the only way we're actually going to get the conversation flowing, right? All right, so shouts out to Winston Churchill, okay? Shouts out to Winston Churchill. He is actually a national hero, okay? Um, <laughs> what did Sarah Garvey say? I missed it. They have the right to have pride in racist heroes. Others have the right to condemn their heroes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that simple. Um Shout out. I like that. I like that. But um, let's quickly see. Do, 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 do. Let, let's hear the African Muslim spewing out shit. <laughs> uh, Hassan, how could you do Okay, let's quickly read through a little bit. No, it had nothing to do with me. I live in the now. My only concern is the now. Ooh, I like that. I like that. That's some Eckhart um, Toll type thinking. Although your history is what makes you today. No, they shouldn't be proud of the negative-ish. 
Yeah. See, that's kind of where I'm at, to be honest with you. That's where I'm at. Like, we can we can celebrate, you know, certain individuals for the great that they did do, right? You can celebrate Winston Churchill for being a key player, being the uh, prime minister, the one who led um, Britain into victory over Nazi Germany. You can celebrate him for that. I, I don't see there, I, personally, I don't see that there, that there is any wrong for actually being critical on another person. Like, we can celebrate you and we can also admonish you as well. There's no problem with that. If you held racist views, we can admonish you for your racist views, all right? But it's not going to take away from your victory. It's not going to take away from the great that you did. Like, you did great, all right? And your great that you did is not going to take away from the negative things that you, the negative views that you had, right? The greatness that you did should not take away from the negative things that you did. We should be able to have an accurate appraisal of history and people in history as well. I think that's the problem with us. We don't like reality. We like to live in the fantasy. We like to live in the propaganda, right? It can either be the positive propaganda or the negative propaganda. Why can't we just be balanced and just say humans are humans? As I've always said, they're always going to be flawed. Always. But let's quickly um, have a read through. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, more stream landing after that statement. <laughs> it's history from age of ignorance. Okay, I'm proud of the defense of Britain. Everything else is shameful, in my opinion. Indeed. Um, yeah, they've they didn't have Google on their phone. It was difficult times. You're just trolling your own show. How are you shouting out Churchill? I know. Again, I've got to say some things that's gonna be controversial to spark a conversation, right? We can't all be on the one like, yeah, yeah, we should all condemn or yeah, we should all, I don't even know. Yeah, we should all praise, whatever it is, man. Let's stir it up a little bit. We can't have one-sided dialogue. It's not fun that way. Um, someone says Churchill or Hitler. Um, you know, and again, like, I used to, no, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. I'll get into some trouble. That's a mad soundbite, you know. But, you know, one has to look back at history and regardless of what side people are on you have to see the greatness in them okay even though they've done horrendous things you have to see the greatness when i see um you know the armies that they were able to command you have to be like wow you had power like you could honestly say hitler was a powerful man in his day and time hitler was a person that um as far as i'd known you know thought outside of the box and were was on that esoteric tip okay now you can you can look at, you know, history, both on the, you know, the victory, the victor side and the loser side and point out the greatness in human beings, you know, even though that they are 100% flawed, not 100% flawed, but even though that they're flawed human beings, you, if you can't point out a good or greatness in a, in a human being or a person, like, that's how you know you've got a skewed perspective on history. But yeah. Let's quickly see. Um, we're reforming the Pollard's Hill crew. Okay. What? What? Pollard's Hill, you know. Jeez. <laughs> Them ways there. <laughs> anyway, let me be quiet. People have the right to glorify a child molesting warmongering sleep owner. Others have the right to condemn him. <laughs> I love Sarah, you know. He comes in there. Fire. I will defend England, but not fight for them abroad. Big bro, heavyweight. Ooh -hoo. If it was not for Churchill, then Hitler would have literally enslaved most nations under their racist doctrines. You should be so thankful to Churchill for the freedoms you have now. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. That is, that is a, a curious point still. Very curious point. Times TV, America just acknowledged Christopher Columbus Day yesterday. He still has statuses dedicated, statues dedicated to him here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man likes our is on stuffs. Let's quickly go through. How was Callum racist? <laughs> White people are the least racist. Think about it. Mm. 
the negative things someone does does take away from the good they did it doesn't mean denying it indeed not subtle at all the hate is real let's quickly go through all right tech titans tv all right tech titans tv i don't even know being deliberately racist is not being flawed hmm. being deliberately racist is not being flawed explain that one i don't understand that one help me to understand it um but yeah kahindi andrews he was going in he was saying that uh britain was built on racism that everyone involved in it probably has a really racist past now i want to know does anybody want to deny that fact or say it wasn't a fact right i want to know you know they say that the metropolitan police um, was institutionally racist one could actually contend that britain the actual nation was institutionally racist how about that is that is that true or is that false is that true or is that false okay and do we hide from that do we hide from that do we hide from that do we not confront um our history do we avoid it or do we accept it and try to understand it and move on from it and better ourselves and learn from you know history and the mistakes that people and the country made i wonder i wonder let's have a quick look um people aren't all good sometimes a person can do some good but also bad i wouldn't be proud of a racist person but can appreciate if they did something good you know so it's like gandhi as well gandhi is another um, person i've heard a lot about okay i haven't actually confirmed these words right but there's a lot of people talking about it okay so i haven't confirmed so therefore i don't actually know but um i'm, I'm pretty sure i've seen certain things and i've heard people talking about gandhi and his racist comments right gandhi made a lot of racist comments um in his day do we condemn gandhi based upon his racial views or do we still celebrate the good that he did for his people and even for the civil rights movement as well those who were inspired by him or do we have a balanced um you know view of gandhi seeing that he's only a human being that he had his good qualities and bad qualities. Let's see. So some 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 are saying false, true, okay. Um, false. The people aren't. No, I'm not saying aren't. As in now, today, were. Okay, during imperialism, was Britain racist? Was it institutionally racist? I'm not going to say that all of the people in Britain was racist, wasn't racist, or, sorry, was racist, but was the theme of Britain racism? Did the educational system preach and teach racism? Did the political system preach and teach racism? Did, did the economic system practice racism? Okay. So let's 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 see. Um, historically, for such a small country, the British Empire was quite impressive. Cook was a brilliant map maker, and it's only bettered by Google. <laughs> Callum, hope you're well. I'm good. I'm tired right now. You know, I'm actually tired. I'm secretly thinking, like, shall I do the show later on? Do you know what? Yeah, I need you guys to come on and just take over the show for me. Like, I'm I'm kind of exhausted. Still, huh? let's quickly see. Times TV meaning. Meaning being flawed naturally is when you do something wrong unconsciously, but being racist deliberately has no excuse. Whew. Yeah. But this is this is why I say, okay, there are those who are consequentially racist and those who are intentionally racist. Okay. Some people may be born in an era um, that the pervading spirit was racial ideas especially in the early 19th century sorry 1900 sorry especially then there was a lot of racial um pseudoscience 
going on. The education system kind of taught a lot of racial doctrine. Okay, so some people could literally be the victim, and I hate saying that, bro. They could be a victim of circumstance. They could be a victim of circumstance. And unfortunately for them, they weren't progressive like other people who were more moralistic, were able to transcend what, what the community, what the nation was saying. You dig? Some of us are able to transcend um, the pervading theme of an era and see things outside of that era we can see right from wrong but again let's, let's see yes they had everyone at the bottom fight based on race and culture so the people at the top can run around doing madness mm -hmm. let's see yes yes Kala. two pack smalls up in the building was good that can white people as a whole be responsible for the actions of their leaders see i i, I would rather take away white people and say can you know, let's talk about England, okay? Let's say England for now, okay? So, because, oh, if you want to say Europeans, say Europeans. I already talked, spoken about why, sh sorry, white being a social construct and it's to do with status and it's a racial, um, it's to do with racial identities, basically, or racist identities and supremacist ideologies as well. So I don't, I, don't, I hate using those terms. Um, so, sh no. Uh, English people as a whole or Europeans as a whole um, shouldn't be responsible for the actions of their leaders. No. But they can and they should hold their leaders to account. Okay? Definitely hold your leaders to account. Gandhi was a fool. It says Tupac Smalls. Gandhi was only human being elevated to Mahatma. Slavery is not a black thing. We all pay our taxes to the Queen. Yes, Natalie Godfrey. I don't think we are slaves. We're more subjects. <laughs> We're all British subjects. Liverpool was a major slaving port and its ships and merchants dominated the transatlantic slave trade in the second half of the 18th century. Teach, teach. I'm pretty sure that there is a slavery museum as well in Liverpool, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. I know I was going to go there a couple years, three years ago, three years, about a couple, three years ago, maybe actually. Um, a lot of white shame and guilt, Kalam. Yeah. Man like Nwapian Sniper. Uh, Wild Guan fam, long time. Yeah, man like a trial. Um, let's quickly see. Big up, says Athios. Never blacks, Irish, etc. Most people are stupid and selfish, not evil. Yeah. But was he just an adulterous man? If it was before, what's different now? A lot has changed, you know. A lot has changed. Okay. A lot has changed. All right, man, like Noapian Sniper. Big Valley up in the building. Can only white people be racist? No. I know there is the common myth that amongst um, amongst the black community, yeah, amongst the black community, it started in the black conscious community and, or the black academic, started in the, the black academic community, then it went into the black conscious community, then it went into the black community as a whole. Um, you know, kind of paraphrasing, um, what's her, what's her name? Uh, Francis Cress Welsing. And more and more I read Francis Cress Welsing, it's either that I think she is wrong in what she's saying, or she's mis, um, misrepresented. And I'd rather say that she's misrepresented. I'd rather say she's misrepresented. So yeah, black people can be racist, okay? And we'll have to have a conversation about that because some of you guys might be like, what the hell do you mean? Okay, um, let me catch up. Do -do -do -do. Uh, nope, nobody hates Britain here, baby. You have to ask other people if they hate Britain, not me. Do we ignore or confront racism? We confront it and we resolve it. White is a racist brand, but black has overtaken them in racist views. Yeah, I hear you. Um, they benefit from white supremacy though. Why would they give it up? 
Do you know what it is? Like, we can all benefit from slave labor, um, but there's something inside of you, your morals, um, would kind of alert you to the fact that what you're doing is wrong, even if you're benefiting from something. And you can give it up based upon your own ethics. Um, it wasn't us, it was the elite who enslaved and lynched people, who rallied, who purged, who were just working class and she it. Indeed, Joel, indeed. Um, that's very true, very, very true. I was watching something or reading something about less than a year ago, and it spoke on how the, the enslaved Africans in the Caribbean were treated better or had a better living conditions than the working class in Britain. Imagine that. Imagine that. In terms of, you know, work-life balance, you was better off as an enslaved African. I'm not, don't misquote me on this, right? So please don't misquote me. You was better off in terms of living conditions, working conditions, as an enslaved African than you was a working class Englishman in this country. Can you imagine that? Can you actually imagine that? So yeah, I feel you. The working class, like, it, it really didn't have nothing to do with you in terms of slavery. Um, the middle class and upper class, um, you know, was very much so engaged in slavery. There was even, um, I can't remember, there was, this, there was a pro program, was it BBC or Channel 4? And it showed that there's even blacks that actually owned slaves as well um, in the UK, which was like, what? What? That was that was quite an eye opener. Who remembers that documentary? Let me know if you watched that documentary. Very interesting. Like the more you learn about certain things, the more you realize that you don't know nothing at all. And it kind of humbles you that you want to do more and more research and learn more. Like Black History Month is a, is now. Like, how many of you guys have organized trips, um, you know, with your children or with just with your friends or your peers, like, or people inside of your community? There's loads of places you can go to kind of learn more about black history. We have um, black history walks. We have, um, you know, people like Robin Walker, who does black history um, lectures and talks. You know, you can go to Canary Wharf. You've got the um, Slavery Museum there. There is something as well in Brixton as well. There is loads of museums all around, um, all around London, matter of fact, and you can learn about black history in them. Like there's so many different places you can go, art galleries, you can learn about black history as well. Like it's, it's, there's a lot to learn. And I think the problem is that it's just not enough light has actually been shed or spread on, on black history or its involvement. Africans and enslaved Africans and colonized Africans, their interaction and relationship with the UK, like it's so underrepresented. And it would be so good that we actually finally sh um, shed a light on it. Let me keep going through. Let's see, Callum, not everyone has the same morals. I know. Um, shouts out to Jay Black's up in the building. Oh man, Lexi's up in here as well. Uh, Buddha Bing. COE, what's the point of confronting racism? Um, so what's the point of confronting racism? Because racism is conflicting with a natural reality, right? It's conflicting with how we as a society or human beings should live our lives. And if we don't confront it, what are we doing with it? We're either avoiding it or submitting to it. And me personally, man, 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 not submit to no man. So I don't want to submit to racism personally. You may want to, but I don't. I don't want to avoid racism. You may want to, but I don't. I'd rather um, confront racism and resolve racism so we can, pr so we can practice um, conflict resolution. <laughs> we can actually practice conflict resolution we can actually sit down and listen to racists or racist ideologies and have a conversation about it and highlight it and critique it and point out the flaws within inside of it 
and help those people with racist ideologies to change their perspective. Or we may actually learn a lot from those individuals and it might change our perspective as well. So yeah, it's always good to um, confront things that is conflicting with us or we simply don't understand. Callum, I believe there are Kemet artifacts in the Horniman Museum, South London. Yeah, buddy, of course. Yeah, there is, there is, there is. Like, Horniman 6 still. There's a lot of good stuff around, like a lot of good stuff around. So let me know, family, if you lot are ready to take your children and, um, you know, talk about black history, you know. My son, actually, was speaking about, um, his school is going to be talking about Black History Month or doing Black History Month tomorrow. And I said to him, make sure you teach your, tell like your, your children and your teachers about your ancestry. Like you've got a very powerful ancestry. You know, I was used to be told when I was younger, you come from good stock. You come from good stock that was pounded into my head. Like every moment it was pounded into my head, you know, like all of our victories, you know, I, I learned that we have at least three individuals inside of my family that have OBEs, at least three. I was like, sick, sick, sick. What I'm doing right now, one of my ancestors, my great, no, not my great, that's what I was telling my son actually, I was telling him, your great uncle, which is really his, my grand uncle, um, is actually one of those, one of the individuals that developed, um, and I think he still sits on the chair as well, for the um, uh, carnival, Notting Hill Carnival. Salute, 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 salute. You know, it's just like, you know you have greatness in your family. He was also the one that actually introduced uh, Black Londoners back in the day on, on BBC. What I'm doing right now, when you see me speaking to, you know, people from America, that's exactly what your um, great uncle used to do. He used to get people like Malcolm, sorry, not Malcolm, um, what's his name, Muhammad Ali, um, Spike Lee, all of these great people, he used to get them over into the UK and speak with them. You know, that's what your uncle used to do, your grand uncle used to do, you know. I speak life into him, you know. Make sure he knows about his history and his ancestry. You know, on, on your on your great, great grandmother's side, son, that, um, you know, Malcolm X's grandmother is related to us. You know that, right? You know that, right? All right, cool, cool. You know, you just speak life into them so they have something to say. Well, you mean that picture with the guy with the glasses on? Yes, son. Yes, you're getting it now. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, good. Before you go to school tomorrow, I'm going to have to speak that into you again so you can be proud of who you are and where you come from. So, yeah, Black History Month, baby. Black History Month. Like, be proud. Okay? And a lot of times we, we know so much about other people's history. You know, if I if I ask questions, yeah, like, you know, who's who's Jesus's mother and father? Like everybody knows the answer to that. Right. If I ask questions about, you know, Abraham had children like, yeah, what's what's the names? You know, you could recite Isaac, Ishmael. All right, cool. So what what's what's Isaac's son's name? You know, you look at all say Jacob. What's Jacob's son's name? You know, you could all recite all of that. But your own personal history, your mother and the father and their mothers and fathers and so forth like how like what do we know about these people what do we know like we need to start learning about our ourselves that's the greatest history right there anyway but anyways let me keep on going because i'm supposed to secretly yeah i'm actually going to go and have a shot why am i talk, talking to you guys about this anyways i'm going to be um freshening up in a hot second still and then i'm going to come back on here and actually um start the show so i can fall asleep nicely in my bed all right let's quickly see um Disco to a thought and heat. Um, that wasn't my point, Callum. Okay. Um, I call Croydon the Chicago of the UK. Always windy there. <laughs> Brixton is up in the building. Oh man. And Blaine Film says, Cheers, your family. Again, salute to you guys yeah, who actually donate and support Titans TV. Like, I love that ish right there. Love it, yeah. Like again, family members up in here, make sure you salute these individuals who are supporting Titans TV. All right. They are literally our lifeblood. Um, and just imagine how they treated the Irish. They were shipped off to the Caribbean as slaves and were not allowed to speak their own language in their own country. Yeah. See, most people are dull when it comes to um, Irish history, you know. I've ever told you that I had a, um, he wasn't my real father, nor was he my real stepfather, but he adopted me like that. My, um, my, I call him my stepfather. It wasn't really nothing like that, but 
because I used to play with his son, he he kind of said, yeah, yeah, SP, my little black son. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. But yeah, shouts out to him, Brian. Yeah, man like Brian o, o Sugar, Odin, Onin, Brian, Odin, Onin. Something like that anyway, yeah? Big man, Irish man, yeah? Salute to him. Salute to the Irish. Grew up with the Irish, yeah? Got enough love for the Irish. Sarah Garvey versus Titans TV debate on slavery conditions in Jamaica versus working class conditions in the UK. Nah, I'm, I'm all right, you know? I'm all right. I don't know much about it. I'm only um, parroting what I actually read or heard in a documentary. I need to find it. I think it's to do with the documentary to do with black Britons who own slaves. Or something like that. Black Britons and slavery. It was a documentary that was on TV. Okay, let me get go down a bit more. Because I know I'm far behind. Far, far, far behind. Uh, do you think oppressed blacks lack forgiveness as a lot of uh, change since the dark time ages in freedom of opportunities? Um, I don't know. I have to speak to people individually. I don't. Callum will never submit to God Almighty because of the arrogance of, of Callum. Oh, all right. I don't want to go and watch my own stuff on display. I want to take it. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Like, see, it's like a gift and a curse. It's actually like a gift and a curse. Because if you go to places like Egypt, for example, like, for example, and you see the way that they um, manhandle or mishandle the artifacts in Egypt versus how, um, you know, the Brits, the Brits, the French, the Germans actually handle their artifacts and catalog their artifacts. Like, I've, bruv, trust me, just sometimes it's a gift and a curse, yeah? Sometimes we have to be happy that we can actually see these artifacts, um, you know, in London or in the UK, full stop. I know it's not, in, you know, it's not the best thing possible, but sometimes let's just be happy with what we've got, you know? Trust me, be happy. Conflict resolution says ultra funky. Let me know if you want uh, to know more. Yeah, definitely, Nicholas. All right, uh, judiciary in England, Wales, from BAME backgrounds rose six percent to seven percent last year. Okay, okay, wow. All right, let me quickly go. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this so I can just go quickly. Where where the albinos were the first victims of racism? Quite possibly. Um, but no, no, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. They can't be the first victims of um, racism because they were part of the same race. They were just um, a different phenotype. So they were the first victims of phenotypism. <laughs> that is such a word. Or shadism. Okay. Or colorism. That's what they might have been a victim of. Yeah, don't forget the Discord. St. Kitts and Nevis had Irish slaves. Mm. Teach. So I'm saying, like, you know, I need my um, Irish people to come forward and start teaching because most people don't know this history, all right? And we need to start to heal as a community, right? Don't think just because um, black people were enslaved that they were the only victims. Like, a lot of white people are victims of... of um, of becoming inhumane <laughs> they're suffering from inhumanity like right now and they're suffering some of some people are still suffering from white supremacy right they have a supremacist ideology or supremacist com um, complex some of us have a uh, inferiority complex some of us have a supremacy complex like we all need healing you know we all need healing and we all need to relearn our history we all need to relearn our heritage. We all need to understand where each other come from. And we all need to practice forgiveness and love. But anyways, I might be a Makumbaya-ish. So allow me, innit? Allow me. You know when you, you've you been holding that, that solid meditation, them solid meditations, you know, it, it's, it's hard to have any um, animosity in your heart at times. All right? So allow me if I'm, if I'm too soft. Adam was the first victim of racism. Um, no, nah, Adam wasn't no victim of racism. Um, well, the Islamic Adam, should I say, wasn't a victim of no racism. Tennis TV, in the Americas, the Irish were the first slaves, then changed into African slaves. Why do blacks keep complaining about it? Yeah, there was others that were enslaved as well. Um, but they weren't as strong as um, the others. So they had to switch up a little bit. All right. So anyways, family tree. Let me go um, and get myself sorted out, okay? I will set up the show. 
I think I will, yeah, I will set up the show for you guys. Um, so give me like half an hour. Is everybody good for half an hour? Let me know. Is everybody good for half an hour? I set up the live stream for half an hour's time in the next half an hour. Talk to me. Say yes or say no. So in the next 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> See in my head, yeah, I'm I'm saying to myself 15 minutes, but I'm saying to you guys half an hour. So really and truly, no, my half an hour is gonna be half an hour. Because in my head, I'm gonna be ready in 15 minutes. So then it's gonna be half an hour. Do you dig what I'm saying? So sometimes I have to lie to my own self, you know. You know, you know it's peak here yeah? when you're who does this as well? Like I know, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of black people, yeah, they do this, right? Let me just see if it's just me. You know your clock, right? Do you lot put your clock forward like 20 minutes? Who here puts their clock forward, like the clock on the wall or something, forward 20 minutes? Let me know. Because I do it just to scare me into believing that I'm late. You know when you wake up like, huh? Is that the time? Or if you're going to do something, huh? Sugar. And then you always have to keep calculating. Like, okay, no, it's 20 minutes. Then. All right, cool. Who does that? Who does, is it just me or, or other people do it? Okay, 10 minutes. Someone says, Bayo said 10 minutes. Who else does it? Who else does it? Let me know. Alarm clock is 15 minutes fast. All right. Wheel of death. All right. All right. Nah, I'm on the dot. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> you're all dirty. Um, this can be exhausting. The screen work. Uh, Callum, Times TV, so watch that. All right. 10 minutes, says J Boogie. I don't, my mother's clocks are 10 minutes fast. Yeah, yeah. See, says Chris Raymond. Trust me. All my clocks are forward by 10 minutes. You see it. Five minutes fast is enough. Five minutes here. I, boy, boy. Those people saying five minutes, the either straight, um, straight English, yeah, or they're mixed off, they're of mixed heritage, yeah? Because five minutes ain't cutting it fast, G. And I actually found out, no, you know what, yeah? I said it's two hours slow <laughs> 20 minutes I I found out okay just real quickly and I really want to see this again there is you know I'm subscribed to all of these different um science science channels okay and they have like little quick two minutes five minute videos and they basically say that like I found that it's not really our fault okay as black people it's not our fault there is something to do with the time zones whether you're in the south hemisphere or in northern hemisphere but it's something about being in the South that we um we take house that we we are a bit laxidosal. Is that a word? Laxidosal? Anyway, we're a bit laid back. But those people who are in the northern hemisphere, they're kind of much more on a speedy, speedy time frame. And that's basically to do with the climate. I'm gonna have to find that little quick, quick, I even know if it's called a documentary, it's a quick little science video. All right, and it shows the um the research. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> I said white line then. All right, family, yeah. So yeah, salute to you guys here yeah, who who's actually donated and supporting and also hitting the like button. Salute to all the 214 guys of of you guys who've um hit hit up hit me up and, and been watching. That's how you know I need to go to my bed, you know. So give me 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes. So what's the time now? It's 10.06. All right. So technically, yeah, I'm gonna try to be online at 10:30. Yeah, but I've already said 30 minutes, so therefore it should be 10.36. But I'm going to try to surprise you guys and show you guys, yeah, that I actually have some form of um of, of whiteness in me. Yeah? All right, say nothing. <laughs> Anyways, family, uh, salute. Love you guys, man. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace and love. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs>